everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I want to talk about how to fix WordPress image upload errors. There's nothing more frustrating when you're working on your WordPress website and you try to upload some images and you get an error. Trust me, we get cursed out for it from time to time because, again, I understand personally how frustrating it is. So I'm going to show you in this tutorial how you overcome those errors. Of course, you can feel free to reach out to our team, but sometimes it's just easier to, to just do it right quick um, because really when you, when you have these type of errors, errors are not that complex to fix. It's just really frustrating um, setting to fix. So anyways, right now I'm on our main web hosting page of Name Hero. If you're not a customer, I just want to let you know that we specialize in high speed and secure WordPress cloud web hosting. So we will accelerate your website. We promise to be a lot faster than those other guys out there. Um, all of our um, web hosting packages are on solid state drives with RAID 10. So you're going to have a lot faster response time. We put um, the suitable for monthly visits under each package. So you can kind of pick the one that best fits your website. Um, we also have all of our um, packages are loaded with features such as free and automatic SSL certificates, um, the light, light speed cache, and um, a bunch of other stuff that you can read about on this page. Um, but if you're using WordPress, then we, um, we're your people. We'll help you out. We'll make your site um, safe, secure, and extremely fast. Okay, so with that, I want to log in to my account. So I'm going to hover over account, click log in. And I'm already logged in, so it's not going to ask me for a username and password. But if you're following along, just please do that now. I'm going to click on Cloud Web Hosting. And then I'm going to look for my hosting package. Now, this is my demo account, so I have several different packages. But today, we're going to be working with keydiets.com. So I'm going to click on Plus Cloud. And this is the um, information page for that particular package. Um, so yeah, it's where I can like manage everything about this um, web hosting package for key diets. So I want to um, first I want to get an image so we can we can um, troubleshoot this and I can show you one of many image errors you might have when uploading. So to do this, I like to use um, or just Google free stock images. And stock photography is how you can populate your website with professional looking photos or drawings. And um, you can do that for free. Now, a lot of people think they can just simply click images here in Google and Google whatever they're looking for. But actually, that's not true because a lot of those images are copyrighted and if you use one of those on your website you could possibly face a lawsuit uh, if you don't own the copyright to the image and you're using it without the copyright holders permission um, you can be sued for that and while it's it, it is kind of rare it's not completely unheard of and you know when they if someone that owns the image finds that on your site and they really decide to go after you um, they can actually sue you for like the number of times the image has been viewed so it can really be a bad thing so I always just like to google free stock images meaning that they're stock images, but you don't have to pay for them, um, and, and finding um, some on, on one of these sites. So my favorite here is the top organic listing. I don't like these paid ads here, but click this here. And you can see this website, you can search all kinds of um, free photos for your website. I personally use this all the time at Name Hero and on my personal sites. So I recommend you use it too, uh, just because you can use it for personal or commercial use for free. So since I'm dealing with keydiets.com, I'm just going to type in diets and look for images related. So you can see we've got several different images here that we can use. I'm just going to scroll down and just kind of find one that I like. <laughs> this one here is funny. So let's just use this one right quick. So you can see I click the image that I like and I click on free download and it downloads to my computer. So now I want to go into my WordPress and I want to show you one of many image upload errors that you could get. So I'm going to go into WordPress admin. This is just keydiets.com slash wp-admin. You log in once you get to that page. And I'm going to go to media and click add new. Okay, this is where you upload images inside WordPress. So I'm going to click select files. I've got my image. Click open. And you can see such and such image exceeds the maximum upload size for the site. So that's frustrating, right? And especially if you're a new customer, you're like, what the heck? You know, I just moved the name hero for this fast, high speed cloud hosting, secure certificates, and all this stuff. And now it says I don't have enough upload room. Well, I understand the frustration, but this can easily be fixed. So at Name Hero, when you sign up, Everything's just set to like a default limit because we can't predict what one person's going to want from the next. So because of this, we allow you to change these limits depending on what you need. It's really simple. So I'm going to go back to that um, page that we talked about earlier when I log into our client area. And I want to access cPanel. So from here under Actions, I'm going to click Log into cPanel. And I want to look for the PHP selector. So I'm just going to type in PHP. 
and you'll see select PHP version under software. I'm going to click that. And you can see I'm currently running 5.6. So I can click switch to PHP options. And you can see my memory limits at 64. So I'm going to change this to 128. Click apply. I'm going to change the post max size from 2 megabytes to 32 megabytes. I'm going to change the upload max file side from 2 megabytes to 32 megabytes. Click apply. I'm going to click on save. And now I'm going to go back to my site, select files again, click on my image, and you can see it still hasn't refreshed yet. So let's refresh it. 32 megabytes and now it's a new upload size. Select file, click on my image, and now you can see my image has been uploaded successfully. So, and you can click edit here so you can see the, the big version of it. See, so you can see it's uploaded successfully. I have a nice little permalink here if I want to use that. Um, potato, ketchup, murder, blood. That's kind of a funny image. Um, and maybe that's what we think of diets, right? Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's how you get it fixed. So basically what was happening was the image that we are trying to upload was too big um, for the limit. So you can see this file size was five megabytes um, when there, our limit was two megabytes. So we just simply went into PHP and changed that inside of cPanel. So go back here. Now, um, that fixed the error. Now, if you have other errors, which you might have, a lot of this we see is because PHP 5.6 is actually kind of getting further and further up the chain as far as how old PHP is. So on our new servers, we're now defaulting to 7.0. So I recommend if you're having errors to click on PHP 7.0, click set as current. And then make sure your memory limits a higher variable. You know, 256 is great. Uh, post max size 64, that's great. Upload max file size, great. So just save those. And if you're running PHP 7.0, a lot of times you're going to fix a lot of the errors that you're having. If you're running PHP 5.6 specifically, you might get like HTTP upload error, um, those type of things. And it's just because the way PHP 5.6, how it handles certain things. So 7.0 actually is upgrading to that in itself will fix some. Um, a lot of your issues. Now if I go back to my um, my image site here and I can try to find a little nicer of an image this time. Let's just say these nice strawberries here. Click free download. Um, go to upload new media. Select file on there. Strawberries. And you can see those went ahead and uploaded as well without error. Crunches them up and edit and you can see now they're uploaded. So most of the time the the main error we see is upload size. And we we traditionally have new servers set out the gate to handle at least 25 megabytes, but from time to time there still might be a server that's set at two, um, which you just go in and increase those. Um, but again, then we see the problem of PHP 5.6 where you need to just change your PHP to 7.0. At least you can go all the way up to 7.2, but at least the 7.0 nowadays is what you want to be running on your website. And WordPress just responds a lot better with PHP 7.0. So it was like like last year in 2017 that that became a um, selling point for a lot of web posts. Hey, we offer 7.0. Well, now in 2018, 7.0 is really the standard. And 7.1, 7.2, um, and PHP is just continuing to evolve. So if you're running 5.6, you really do need to look at upgrading that. Uh, but once you do so, you can do it in cPanel. Then you can change your extensions and your upload limits uh, to match your website and to get it working. And nine chances out of 10, that's going to solve all of your upload issues. And just changing those file sizes and, and the memory limit especially is going to definitely help you out. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Let us know. You can comment on this video. You can comment on the blog post that I'm going to leave this, or you can give us a call, hit us up on live chat, or submit a ticket. We'd be more than happy to help you out. But um, thanks so much for hosting your WordPress website with us. It's certainly our pleasure to bring you the highest powered, um, fastest, um, and secure web WordPress cloud hosting on the internet. Uh, thanks so much for watching and using NameHero.com.